Finally, hello, welcome back. Another Marky Mark video. It's been quite a while. Lots of things have happened. Huge things have happened. Amazing things have happened. And very sad things have happened. So our lovely queen's gone. Um, our pound has crashed. The government's in disarray. And things just carry on. But one thing, one thing that brings pleasure and relaxation is records. And I have some wonderful records to show you in this video. Very, very pleased in many, many ways. <laughs> Haven't played much recently. Um, we've had some building work in the house. Everything is in chaos. It's crazy, there's dust everywhere. Thankfully, everything's all wrapped up and packed away. So not much music playing for a little while. That's going to change soon. Let's kick into it. I've got a few lovely records here that I'm going to talk about very briefly that I'm, I can't wait to share with you. The first one, I'm going to talk about this one. Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. Uh, I bought this. It's an, there's an anniversary edition out at the moment. I think Amazon has it on for about £20 or £18. And it's absolutely dreadful. The sound is awful. So... Um, did a bit of research and people were saying, well, look, it's not it's not the brilliant, most brilliant recorded album of all time, but the originals sound much better. And I'm pleased to say I managed to pick this up. It was about 30 quid, a bit more than that, maybe. Um, but I'm really pleased. It's a fantastic listen. If you like Iron Maiden, uh, it's got a lovely... Um, in a sleeve with some photography with the band members. Brilliant English, early heavy metal with my favorite singer of all, well, not my favorite singer of all time, but Bruce Dickinson, who I absolutely adore. Um, fantastic artwork. So really pleased to have this. I think it's 1983. I'm not gonna get it out. I've got too many to go through. So that's I made Number of the Beast. Before that, uh, I did buy a remastered reissue of Iron Maiden's Fear of the Dark. And I'm pleased to say this is fantastic. Really great, lovely, lovely pressing, lovely clean record. Lots of, just great. Um, it's got, I mean, it's got my favourite on here, Fear of the Dark, which is, you know, great, great track. Wasting Love, The Fugitive. Um, and do just be my guide, but really like this. I love the artwork. I mean, I, I would just buy it alone for the artwork. So I've had a bit of a Iron Maiden revival. I do like a bit of Iron Maiden. Uh, the next album, a bit about Electronica. And I bought this, there was a special edition clear version, which I had to just get shot of because it was just, it was had a swooshing sound at the beginning, which drove me insane. So they thankfully, thank God, they brought out a standard black version of um, Nicholas Jarre's Space Is Only Noise. And it's a 10 year, 180 gram, black double vinyl, limited edition apparently. And uh, if you like atmospheric, deep, interesting, intriguing music, this is an awesome, awesome recording it's beautifully mastered beautifully presented double lp and uh i will get it out i won't get it out but i'll just show you the you know it's 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 really accessible it's not it's not crazy avant-garde-ish uh electronica it's it's really nice and catchy there's some lovely lovely bits in it all i mean i just love it that was my one of my favorite records of this year although i did buy it last year as i say I, the clear version was just defective lots of people reported on the clear version anyway a little bit of reggae now popped into my local uh, record store to speak to marios and 
uh, I picked up, I will show you what I picked up. I picked up, uh, I didn't know what this sounded like. Foundation in dub, dub in foundation. Yeah, um, just like the artwork. I love that pencil drawing, drew me into it. And uh, it's a beautiful record, really slow, nice, melodic, reggae dub, really nice. Um, 19, uh, let me think now, what year? 1990, Jar Works Music, uh, and just really like it. Like a bit of reggae, Chill, chills me right out, lovely. I then, um, I mentioned this before, but I was watching an Amoeba um, video on YouTube where they bring in celebrities to talk about what they like. And I think they had, um, I think it was Duran Duran. But he was talking about this particular record, one of his favourites, The Front Line, and I gave it a listen. I really liked it. 1976, Virgin Records. Really nice. Yeah, I loved it. Just lovely, smooth, laid back reggae. You know, just stunning. Um, the next one was featured in a top 10 favourite records from another YouTuber, Aiden, I can't remember his surname, Aiden, young, young chap, really knowledgeable about jazz, but he mentioned this album and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. I'll have a listen to that. The Meters. There's probably lots of you out there saying, oh, come on, Mark, <laughs> don't you know about The Meters? Well, no, I didn't, but I do now. And this is probably one of the funkiest, greatest listens. I've had for a while. Uh, sophisticated Sissy, Sissy Strut, Ease Back. And this is on the Music on Vinyl label, and I'm a big fan of Music on Vinyl. I think they did a really good job. Nicely presented, it's, it, um, scratch proof inners, nice um, plastic outer, seat re resealable outer. Um, they do a really good job, Music on Vinyl. And it's a really nice listen, really funky, really enjoyable. Really, really enjoyable. It's on the Josie Records label, 1970. And this is, I think this came out last year. Uh, 1970, no, 2018, 2018. Anyway, so I bought this at my local record shop and I, I'm not gonna make any apologies for it because it was albums, they're albums that I grew up with the really lovely minty copies of Michael Jackson's Thriller and Off the Wall. I mean, I used to listen to these guys, you know, listen, listen to Michael Jackson on cassette and then later on CD. And oh, I just dipped into a really interesting conversation with, uh, between, I can't remember, I think it was Michael at 45 and Bernie Grunman or those. But Bernie Grumman was saying how well these were mastered for the time. They are particular, particularly off the wall. And um, I'm, pl I'm pleased to say that for very reasonable money, and I'm not talking about, you know, one steps, um, for reasonable money, these sound fantastic. And there's a reason why, you know, Thriller is still the most greatest selling album of all time, as I believe. I don't think anything's come close to it. But they sound really good, and I'm really pleased to have them in my collection. Then I picked up this, and this is probably for those of you UK followers um, that are watching this at the moment. You might have a similar age to me. I had to get this. This is Fantasia, The Fourth Dimension. Haven't listened to it yet. So this basically is a selection of it says a house techno and trance so back in the day early 90s late 80s early mid 90s you had like the rave scene hugely influential to, to many artists of the time and uh, I, the three discs in this are all they look unblemished fantastic but it's just trance happy hardcore techno and I can't wait to, to have this on my deck 
Brilliant. Uh, right. I'm following a theme here of, of buying secondhand records. I never set out in my journey to, to delve into secondhand records. I always thought, right, I'm going to just stick with new. But uh, over a time, I, I've just kind of thought, you know, why not? And I've been really impressed, actually. They've been really good. But I picked up this, Muddy Waters, Hoochie Coochie Man. It's on the Epic label, 1988. Um, I have got the analogue productions of Muddy Waters Folk Singer, which is gorgeous, 45 RPM. Uh, and I'm pleased to say this is just a really nice, as you'd expect, uh, very blues, blues, you know, it's lovely, just gentle blues, lots of storytelling. And it's a really good pressing. It sounds really good for 1980. I say 1988, it's pretty good. Now, this is an absolute classic. I've had my eye on this for a long time and pure pleasure. Um, uh, Speaker's Corner, I've got this out already. It's in, it's in print, but this I think is an original. It's Jim Hall's Concerto. Now, this is on CTI, Creed Taylor Incorporated. And I think Creed Taylor, the, the originator of the label died fairly recently. But this is Jim Hall, who was a fantastic guitarist. And I know Jim Hall from his collaboration with Bill Evans on the Undercurrent album, which I've got a Mofi copy of. And it's a beautiful, he's, he's very kind of Grant Green-esque, finger picking, great um, musicality to his guitar playing. And this is no exception. I haven't played this yet, actually. But it's got Paul Desmond, Chet Baker, Ron Carter, Steve Gadd, and Roland Hanwa, Hannah, sorry. Ro yeah, Roland Hannah, sorry. Uh, really minty copy, not cheap, but it looks fantastic. It's cleaned up beautifully. Is it a gatefold? It is a gatefold. Of course it is. Here we are. Fantastic. Fantastic. There's a picture of him there. Jim Hall. Uh, this is 1975, I believe. Yes. Really nice. Can't wait to get that on. And last but not least, I picked up, because I can't, couldn't resist this, two singles of Morrissey. Yeah. Uh, International Playboy. which is great, really minty copies from 1989, this one, really good. Uh, this one, I always love the cover art on Morrissey Smith's albums. This is the last of the famous international playboys from 1989, really good. I was, pl I was playing The Queen Is Dead the other day uh, I'm really enjoying it. And then I thought I'll, I'll get these as well. So that's my additions to my collection. Really welcome your comments. I'm, I'm really amazed to have over a hundred subscribers now. And I've got a couple of videos that I'd like to make in the coming days or weeks when I get, when I've got a chance and some time, I'd like to do a Bill Evans video and just show some of my Bill Evans collection and just talk a bit about my favorite Bill Evans record. And I'm probably gonna do a couple of videos of my favorite records that I've acquired this year. Uh, and another video about um, reissues that have come out this year that are also my top favorites. Something like that, I'll, I'll be doing a few videos. I hope you're all keeping well. Stay positive and keep spinning records. Take care, bye.